I would like to cover with you some underlying causes of very common disorder in our society. Anxiety, stress, and depression. One out of ten people in our population are on medications for this. However, the medications tend to not actually solve the problem, but cover it up. So I'm going to do a little test with our, our sample here with Doug. Now currently you're having some symptoms in the upper part of the back, some tension, correct? Correct. And if I gave you a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being no problem and 10 being the most severe, what would you rate it at currently? Right now about 5. At about a 5. So this is an example of one of the tests that we can perform in our office to determine where the underlying health condition is stemming from. How's that seem now, Doug? <laughs> really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How's the tension in those shoulders? Barely noticeable. Wow. As you saw with Doug, in a matter of a few seconds, we were able to alleviate the symptoms of tension and stress in his upper back, which oftentimes is a result of anxiety. So this is an indicator that we'll be able to help Doug through alleviating the pressure on his nervous system at the top of his neck. That was temporary uh, relief of, of pain, but does that mean that, that there's something you know, that needs to be fixed in my spine? Correct. All we did was temporarily leave the pressure on the nerves to give you a change in the symptoms. And it'll, that'll last anywhere from a few hours to a few days. But it is an indicator that things need repaired in there. Wow. So coming in and um, making that adjustment could mean that I could not experience the, the pain and, the, and, and even anxiety-related symptoms. Yes. Roll the rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs>